Hi there, mates. Let's say you're driving in your Tesla Model Y on a warm summer's day in the outback and you crave a cold beverage. How cool would it be if you could just dip your hand into the Tesla Model Y sub trunk and pull out a cold one for yourself? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is National Tesla Nagong. Let's do this. Introducing Test Fridge by ACO Power. This is a sub trunk refrigerator and freezer for your Tesla Model Y, and they do have a version for your Tesla Model 3 as well. Now, this is a review unit that the company sent me, but all the thoughts that I'm sharing are my very own. Do watch this video in its entirety because I have a fair bit of thoughts on this. There are multiple chapters as well. So, there are chapters for specifications, chapters on how to install and set up, the chapters on how to use the app which you can connect via Bluetooth with this refrigerator and control the refrigerator. And then I'm going to share my final thoughts on this product as well. And at the very end, there are links to order the product as well. So do watch in its entirety to get all of the details. Now let's go through the product page that they sent me. Now I must give you a heads up that this is a Kickstarter project at this time. But this company, ACO Power, has had other successful Kickstarter projects in the past. So I'm going to take their word for this. Now, this is what the product page says. This is ACO Power's Test Fridge, world's first portable freezer for your Tesla sub trunk. There is a 20 liter version for your Tesla Model 3 sub trunk, and this is a 35 liter capacity model for your Model Y. Now, this has an adjustable temperature between minus 8 degrees Fahrenheit and 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, let's look at the specifications of this product. This is the product data sheet that they sent me. So this is a 35 liter gross volume with a storage capacity of 34.8 liters. It runs with a DC voltage of 12 volts and it has a 45 watt power rating. Now the power consumption is 0.2 kilowatt hour per 24 hours. And this has a DC rated 12 volts running at six amps. The temperature ranges between 10 degrees centigrade and minus 22 degrees centigrade with a push button to activate the temperature adjustment. I'll show you that in just a bit. Now the insulation is a PU foam all around. The system is a fully hermetic compressor with integrated control electronics, low voltage protection and automatic reverse port protection as well. Now let's look at the dimensions of this 35 liter version. This has a width, depth and height of 779.6 by 457.9 by 363.4 millimeters with an inner dimension of 449.7 by 359.5 by 260.2 millimeters and it snugly fits into your Tesla Model Y. A tiny heads up, it fits in the Austin versions and here in Australia it fits perfectly in our Shanghai Tesla Model Y. The Fremont Y and 3 may not perfectly fit, it's something to look and think about. I'm going to quickly lift this and show you that it's not too heavy on this side on my right hand side, that is where the electronics and the compressor is. That's a wee bit heavy. This is an unfilled uh, product at this time. It is super simple. There's just one door where you can open and you can reach in and drop in your things and pick up your things from here. There is a tiny LCD display here with the power button here as well. I'll show you that in just a bit. All right, let's switch to our handheld camera. And this is how it looks like. I'm going to show you the top now. It's super spartan and very, very simple. As you can see, it has a door with a handle, pull, and you can open the refrigerator. Super simple. It has two handles to carry the sub trunk fridge and place it in place. And then it has a tiny LCD screen with four buttons. Simple, simple setup. Increase and decrease the temperature with a plus and minus. Change modes, power on and off. As simple as that. On the right hand side, there is a plug point and it connects to a plug with a car charger adapter at the very end. They have these corrugated grills to dissipate the heat and this sets just at the very edge where uh, there is a small divot in your Tesla Model Y and Model 3. And this is slightly recessed so that the 
heat can go up through from the side. This is the rear of the product. And this is the other side too. Super simple, super spartan. Now, I have just dry placed this in my frunk. I have not installed it yet, just to show you how this looks plugged in. The 12 volt is going in now. And this is the tiny display I talked about, which shows you the temperature. You can change from centigrade to Fahrenheit. Right now it says 16 degrees centigrade. That's the temperature that I set yesterday because I was just having some beverages inside. Now, if I open this door, you can see there is a handy light over here so that you can see what's happening inside. I'll show you the filled state of this in just a bit. Okay, we are in a picnic location. Loads and loads of cars here. And now we're going to look at how to install this in our Tesla Model Y. Uh, Amjad, if you can open the boot for us, please. Thank you. So there we go. So this is where the Tesla Model Y uh, boot really shines because it's a cavernous, cavernous opening. And you can actually install this refrigerator in the sub trunk over here. So if you pull this up, you can see that's a, a gorgeous, gorgeous space there into which the sub trunk fridge will go in. I'm going to show you how to do this in just a bit. So we saw these handles before and this is how the uh, fridge is orientated. You can go in and cleanly place this into the sub trunk like that and it'll go inside. As you can see, it fits quite flush. You can partially close this as well. You can go in and do that. See, it closes nice and flush and it barely is seen uh, when you have the refrigerator inside. Right, so on this side, you can see that there is the uh, fuse and the plug point there. This will plug in here. And this end will go into the 12 volt plug and I'll show you that in just a bit. So let's do this. Let's take this off. It is quite light, it's not too heavy. Pull this up, face this way. Push that in, it goes nice and flush. Push that in like that, and you can route this cable across behind. Bring it this way. If you want to push it behind these, so if you can actually push this behind here, and push that behind there. And if you want to keep this more permanent, you can push that behind and you can actually plug this in over here. So you can go in and plug that in to the 12 volt over there. So that's where this gets plugged in. So once it plugs in, you'll see that it lights up. I'm going to take this off. I'm not a huge, huge fan of keeping these. So you can take this off and you can see that it now shows 17 degrees centigrade there. All right, guys, now let's see how much space is there and how much you can keep inside this. Now, let's start with the large juice bottles that you usually take for your, uh, for your trips. And we'll go and place it straight. So if you keep it upright, it wouldn't close. So you can keep it flush like so. Same holds good for your, your soda uh, bottles. And if you want water as well, you want to place three more water bottles inside. So far, so good. We can still see that there is a fair amount of space that is still left. And now you can place your soda cans now. Mm. So even with all this, you can see that the space is quite cavernous. There you go. And you can now close this shut and also drop this down and make it super flush. There you go. Now let's look at the app to control this refrigerator. This is called the Car Refrigerator app. Super easy to remember and completely non-surprising, I'm saying. And you can get this app from the QR code on the manual. Now let's see how we can connect. Let's click on this icon. Okay, it says connecting. Oh, sorry, it says Bluetooth scan. Let's hit on connect. And there we go. Something flashed here. And now we can see that this is 11 degrees. 
it says left box, right box. I believe this is a universal app that they use for other refrigerators as well. That's why it says that, but it says 11 degrees and it says 11 degrees over here as well. There you can see. Now let's check the mode. The mode that is running in is max mode. If you want to change this to eco mode and that changes to eco mode there. Super easy, really cool. Now the battery mode is high battery mode. If you want to go to a low battery mode, you can click on that and that changes too. That is not too bad at all. And this is how you control your refrigerator. So you can be sitting in front and you can be controlling the refrigerator. Pretty cool indeed. Right here, my thoughts. We did a trip over the weekend from Bulangong to Berry and back. And we did test this product in my Tesla Model by Performance with some ice lollies, some ice cream, some soda and some juices. And I'm going to share thoughts about that trip in the next part of this video. There are lots of good points and some things that you need to think about. First, the good. This does exactly what it said it would do. So when we kept the temperature between the five and eight degrees or around that 10 degrees mark, it kept the juice and soda in a nice cool state. And when you push it to minus, it kept the ice cream and ice lollies in a frozen state. So that's pretty good. Second thing, this is a flush fit into the sub trunk. So you do not lose any trunk space. Very important. The third thing, this is a plug and play product. A single cable plugs into the 12 volt charge port and the app runs the whole product for you. And the app is also a good feature because now your passengers can control the product from the front or the rear passenger seats. So that is important. The other thing that I found was important is the space inside the refrigerator. It is cavernous, loads and loads of space. Even after filling with all the lollies and the uh, ice cream and the drinks, I had enough space to put some cold cuts, some cold sandwiches as well. So that is very good. Now, things that I found were a little desirable was one, this is a product which goes into the sub trunk. So you lose that entire sub trunk. If that is something important to you, do think about it. The second thing is it's either a refrigerator or a freezer, never both. So you can only fit one or the other at one single time based on the temperature. So that's something to think about. The third thing, it is not a premium product. It's a little, little plasticky, uh, but I think that also adds to the lightness of the product. So that is something that you can uh, think works in its favor, but I would have expected a slightly more premium product. But at this price, it is still a great buy in my opinion. The other thing that I found was the uh, screen was too small for me, a little larger screen, maybe a color screen, maybe something to think about in the second iteration. That is something there. So how do you order this product, you ask? There is an affiliate link in the description of this video. So you can click on that. And at this time, there is a super early bird price of 299 US dollars for the Tesla Model 3 version and 349 dollars for the Model Y version. They say the product will be available from August, but we'll wait and see how that pans out. So that's that. I have decided to keep this product and use it in a much longer trip that's coming up. And I'll put other videos with a much longer trip and see how this fridge has fared in those conditions. Now, if you like what I'm doing, a subscription to the channel will be highly appreciated. If you click on that bell icon, you will get notifications of my videos as soon as they drop a fair number of videos with Tesla Model Y in view. will be dropping in my channel very soon. And if you are in the lookout to buy a Tesla Model 3 or Model Y of your very own, I'll be humbled if you use my referral code, a link to that in the description as well. Both of us will get credits, which we can use it against multiple things, including superchargers. I'll see you guys in another interesting video very soon. Until then, this is National Tesla and the Gong signing off. Peace.